family, grace and peace. It's Herbless Viola. Welcome to Very Wise Alternative Podcast. Sending you guys love. Sending you guys positive, positive vibes. I love you. I care about you. Yes, today we're going to talk about tinnitus or tinnitus or however you call it. It's spelled T-I-N-N-I-T-U-S. Tinnitus. Okay, so... A lot of people are misdiagnosed, just so you know. A lot of people are misdiagnosed sometimes. It could be just like inside your ear. Um, You could have something dislodged, meaning we have like crystals in our ears. And sometimes with us not getting the vitamin C, vitamin D, you can off kilter the the, the, uh, structure of your ear and actually have that out of place so and this is when you get dizzy and like people you know we could talk about vertigo and just being dizzy and just being off where you can look up in the air and you're spinning and spinning and spinning sometimes that's something that's going on in your ear it's going on inside of you know inside of that structure And I spoke about that. I'll I'll get into that. But we're talking about tennis. A lot of people don't realize this when you experience ringing and other noises in or, you know, between it's either one ear or or the other ear or both ears. And it's it's, and how can I put this? It's, It's so many different reasons why this is happening. Sometimes people. It depends on, you know, if you find a weapon and and you've been doing this a long time or you have some type of job that you like in the military. Some people, you know, go to the range and they don't put their air 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 protection on or they'll be around a certain job like a generator and you work with vehicles and you're steady with a lot of loud noise. So it depends on the type of job you have. I can always just relate it to the military because everybody has different jobs. And then as a child, was you wear headphones or you still wear headphones and it's so loud or you're in a car and it's loud. It depends on how how you actually damage your ear. So this is the stuff that we have to literally look at and where we have to, <clears throat> how we have to, uh, you know, really think about how did this happen? What did it happen? Did you know what's what's the real cause? It's just a lot of things that I just don't know. This is one of my. This is me answer supporter question, Miss. Um, uh, I can't say her name. Um, but anyway, a young lady reached out to me. You know, we spoke on another issue and. You know, she's just asking again about this. And I did speak on, I think, like two other occasions of this situation. Now, what helps family, what helps is you actually, and it it happens at night. Well, not at night. You notice it more at night or you notice it when you're in a quiet room or a solid room, like if you're meditating or if you get ready to go to sleep. The best thing to do is to sleep with noise it's good to sleep with other different frequencies and family there's so many different frequencies that's why i'm always sending you guys positive and love frequencies because these megahertz these hertz are different some things hurt you some things heal you some things just put you in different states now we have to really be careful of the frequencies we listening to i'm telling you one pitch can make you have a bad headache. One pitch can heal your soul. One pitch can put you to sleep. But we have to really carefully look at these different pitches. That's why um, you hear so many things in music. And, and I, you know, it's careful what I'm saying because in, in different things, like you hear some people get hurt by putting stuff out about these pitches and sounds and stuff. But what I need you to do is do your research. Go in here and look at different frequencies. I put uh, a couple of music videos out only because I wanted you to have a different, hear different frequencies that's really healing your body. It's all about you sleeping in nature. And I mean, when I mean sleeping in nature, you're sleeping hearing bird sounds, water sounds, white noise, brown noise. These actually help you. These actually help and it soothes this tinnitus, you know, and 
and they said it's a common problem because it affects over 20 you know about 20 25 people that don't even really know and it kindly happen to adults but kids have it too this buzzing this noise that you're like uh what is this constant thing i just wanted to go away and you know and it's not really due for underlying disease or anything like you know, some people get whiplash or loud noises or head injuries, or sometimes it's too much wax in our ear or side effects from medications. A lot of times these are like, you know, uh, I would say common causes. I mean, I'm not, I said that wrong because it's ringing in the ears when they're saying it's not due to underlying diseases, but examples were being exposed to those things, you know, like people having a lot of issues and car accidents and all this medications we take and you know this happens to you because just like when when we sleep wrong or we don't sleep with a mouth guard and we actually you know hurt our jaw and and you you know it relates to your ears too family just think about your jawbone and your ear and how close it is all this stuff relates and how much mucus you have in and when you swim and Sometimes you got water in your ear. Sometimes it sounds like you got a lot of water in your ear. A lot of this, you know, a lot of this matters, especially what type of surgery you have, because um, and it actually can affect certain people. How we, not certain people, affect babies when you're laying them down and we're feeding them. That's what's a certain way you should feed your children. Hold them up, breastfeed. That's when you, you know. Um, drinking a bottle, laying down. That's why they should be up, shouldn't be really laying down flat as much. But there's so many different causes of this because it can happen, like I said, you can be, you can actually hurt yourself and not even know it. Not even know what really affects your ears. But bottom line is it helps when you sleep with different noises because you actually want to drown out that noise because that noise that you're sleeping there in that silence and you just hear this ringing, this constant noise that's just nagging you. It will freak you out, get on your nerve. I mean, you'd be like, ah, I can't take this anymore. It'll drive you crazy. And I don't want nothing to drive you crazy. I want you sleeping and relaxing because sleeping and relaxing is, you know, this is healing time. I want you to heal. I don't want you to be upset, aggravated because, you know, sleep, that's a whole animal, a whole other animal, a whole other video for a sleep and, and, and speaking because... You know, basically a lot of these things, you know, hinder our health, you know, cause us to hurt ourselves and all this other negative reaction. I don't want you to have negative. I want you to have positive. I want your your body healing, you growing and you getting better. But um, basically, they're saying that there's no known help. You know, sometimes it's best to check and see if you need to you know, get this earwax out your ear. You know, we have to see if there's a blockage, if there's something going on, what's going on with your blood vessels, because a lot of us, a lot of us got this poop in our body. And when I say a lymphatic cleanse, you need a lymphatic cleanse because sometimes we're blocked. When your lymphatic system is moving slow, your waist, that has maybe like 50% to do with it. Yes, it is uh, what we eat. Yes, it is when we're not eating enough fruits and vegetables. I mean, we'll not take enough the, the correct vitamins and minerals. We can't lack a vitamin E. We can't lack vitamin B, especially people that's not eating meat. You got to have your B12. Yeah, if you don't have your B12, you're causing yourself a disservice where basically you could go crazy. I <laughs> mean, let's put the bottom line. You uh, get off kilter. You're like, dang, why am I feeling this way why is something's off my sleep i'm dizzy you know a lot of us we have to look at the vitamins and minerals that we're not getting that's why it's very important that you get your vitamins and minerals that's why sometimes i'll just eat herbs all day it's like uh -uh, i'm not missing a beat i'm not missing a beat yes my ears ring sometimes my it can be quiet and i still hear this loud pitch sound I could put some jerk, birds chirping and it just eases. i'm telling you, something about going into nature and you hear those animal sounds because those animals are sending you love frequencies. The animals are actually correcting you, caring for you, giving that love, especially when you got your feet off and you into that soil and you just 
in nature. You're getting off that negative energies. These are things we have to do, family. And I know you're like, Viola, there you go with that have to. If you want to get that ring in to stop, you have to replace it. You must replace it with something because it just don't go away. It just doesn't go away. It's something that happens, something that you did that it just will not go away. I know some people are like, well... Maybe you should put some hearing aids or different things, change medications. It's like, eh, yes, yes, because we don't know if it's your medication. I don't know if you wear hearing aids. I don't know if, you know, because we don't think about treating our blood vessels. We don't think about our blood vessels at all. And I, and this is the reason why I'm like cleaning your blood, cleaning the parasites out, because when we block those blood vessels, family, we're hurting ourselves big time because we're not even really paying attention to exactly what we're doing. When I was saying like eating that salt and eating different kind of oils, we're actually cutting. It's like shards of glass, like going through your blood vessels. It's like, you know, you know, not getting on sickle cell anemia, but sickle cell anemia, you know, their blood's like, like little triangles or whatever shapes. They're not, you know, round. They're like pointy where they get stuck. And as they get stuck and clogging, it's actually causing pain. Same thing that we're not doing. We, You must treat your blood vessels. A lot of us don't even think about our blood vessels. You know, we don't even think about it at all. And you need to. You need to. Because the sound we hear, and it could be ringing, it could be roaring, buzzing, hissing, whistling. We just don't know. We just don't know. Sometimes it happens a little bit. Sometimes it happens a lot. And... As we get older, it gets worse, worse, worse. And, you know, people are asking, is this serious? And is it a serious health condition? Well, after a while, it will cause you to have fatigue, depression, anxiety. You be having problems with your memory, concentration, because we don't get any sleep. Our mental health, you know, it, it mess with your mental health, your emotional, you know, you can't concentrate. And y'all know sometimes this is like, man, look, I can't, I can't do this. So it's, it's, it's best we make sure that, you know, it's good to have some type of sound based therapy. You know, a lot of this helps. That's why you see so many channels on YouTube. That's why they buy, you have different CDs to hear nature, to hear running water. I'm talking about the sound of the rain. Just hearing this, hearing cows, hearing animals, this stuff helps. Sound therapy is the best. I mean, the best thing in your life. You you need to do this. I'm talking about sound therapy. It improves your quality of life and it maintains this tinnitus in your ear. Because I remember talking about some cure. Let's not, let's not, even, let's not even talk about that word. Let's not even talk about that word because that word is like, eh. <laughs> but... Things that trigger and things that spike it, and sometimes it's alcohol, dehydration, you know, increasing your blood pressure. You may have to look at the caffeine, the salt, the sugars, the saturated fat. All this stuff triggers, you know, it spikes it. And people are like, oh, I didn't realize it. Yes, we already talk about this messing with our body. I mean, just think about your blood pressure. Think about what triggers your blood pressure. What causes your blood vessels to have issues? All that sugar, caffeine, salt, sugar, you know, saturated fats. Some fats is good, but you want to get your fats from the fruits and vegetables. That's why I'm always talking about even avocado. That's why I'm always saying with your fiber and different proteins and have less sugar, go get some dates, go, um, you know, get your, your, you know, get some apple cider vinegar, eat your apples, your plums, your pears. You know, I'm always going to talk about dates and I'm always going to say eating your sauerkraut, even fermented foods, all this stuff we need to help. Drinking all this sugar and drinking all these sodas is all we're doing is a disservice. We're doing a disservice and it gets to a fact that you be like, man, I can't take this. You know, man, is a doctor. Can they do something? I'm telling your family. The noise therapy will help your life, I'm telling you, versus you going on getting medication and trying to do all this. No, if you start listening to different sounds of sleep, you actually you actually will sleep. You will actually sleep better. I'm telling you, you you you'll have a better quality of life because it's always about your better better quality of life. Always. You know, sometimes it stops, sometimes it doesn't. Like they're saying, there's no 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 like a a treatment that completely eliminated it's just over quality doing that 
that therapy, that uh, sound therapy is best. I mean, absolutely best. But patients like the, you know, uh, with the B12 therapy, that's why I'm always, when I talk about B12, I want you to have a complete B complex because just B12, it shows significant, <laughs> I'm just saying, st- significant help uh, changes, but Imagine you're taking B12, but you're not taking any other vitamins. You're not taking no vitamin D. You're not taking no... I'm like, no, you got to take as much as you can because, let me tell you, tinnitus with your ear, with this buzzing, it affects your whole life. We're talking about your quality of life where you want to get up and go take a shower. You want to get up and do things because I sometimes... I will do on purpose. Sometimes we must... As a people, and how brilliant, and how we have this free will, sometimes it's best to sit there and listen to that noise and change a narrative. Make it beautiful. Make it, I know you're like, Viola, because sometimes you're like, man, let me try to think of something different. But it all depends on how bad you got it, how worse it happened. Because sometimes, like me, when, like, when I used to have that bladder pain, I'd be like, look, now, not today. <laughs> not today. And we can't have that effect. That's why sound therapy and you talking to yourself and you actually relating to it. And sometimes you you, you got to just do the damn thing. Look, not today. I'm going to sleep. I'm going to get this rest. I know this is going to, uh, I know this is going to do this. I know it's going to do this, but. You know, you know what's going to wake you up, but it all depends on how you let it affect your life in the long run. How much willpower you have to sit there and just go through that noise. But I'm telling you, if you can, they, I know it's cost you a lot of money, but charge up your laptop or get, you know, charge up your phone, put your phone on the other side or put your computer on the other side and just let that music play. If you can't get your CD, they have these these D- CDs in Walmart for $5. They have these music boxes where you can buy and they'd be like $5, $10. It'd be the best $15 you spent. They have like 25 different sounds and you can put it on continuous where it plays and plays. Yeah, no, you to people that are on my lecture bill and all that, get a battery pack one. But that will help. I'm telling you, it's the best. It's the best to do noise therapy. Like, dang, Viola, I can't believe this works. It works family it works so go in there and use that that um that music and i'm gonna tell you like if you're stressful family if you're stressful um a lot of people come in balance their equilibrium's off the sounds will get louder your sounds will get louder because like it all depends on what your day is it all depends on what your body reacts to it depends on what triggers you it depends on what's in your room sometimes too much light or whatever it can, whatever your house is if, if your house is too quiet or something or the dog barking but sometimes you know we we just got to look at our whole situation we definitely have to look at our whole situation and see exactly what helps you know sometimes we have to sit there and, and see what helps i know a lot of people talk about that big formula fully floored dab and stuff uh i i don't mm -mm. i'd rather you do something naturally i'd rather you do something naturally instead of trying to put some big stuff in your ear please don't do that and people will be thinking about like wi-fi and different things some people are affected by sensitive to emfs that's why i sell it that's why i be selling the things i be wearing on my body 24 7 these crystals and stuff that you you need to have these will help you because some people are hypersensitive but mm -mm, that's why i wear the 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 electronic magnet things uh that's why you know they have more sale these emf family works they work and they protect your body. People got to just sit there and see what's best for them. You have to see what's best for them. And sometimes medi- uh, sometimes when, when we do a, like a massage, massages help. Some people, um, some people just misdiagnose. That's why I was like, sometimes you may not have this. You know, sometimes you have a pinched nerve or whatever, or you're not stretching. That's why I'm always talking about stretching, meditating, doing things with your body, going out there, walking, going and listen to nature. We we must do this. A lot of things that we must do. And I mean, when I say must do, it's the only way it's going to get you better because you want to stretch your muscles. You want to stretch your jaw bones, your stomach, your mouth. You want to make sure that, you know, like you do an eye exercise. Sometimes just massaging your ears and going down and sometimes rubbing your ears, just rubbing down. We, we never know when I... 
never know where to help you because sometimes your lymphatic system's clogged. When I was showing how you could just move your arms around or just wipe down, you know, rub down or do dry brushing, all this stuff helps. And we we have to look at just everything. I know like Viola, that, that goes with pinched nerves, but you just don't know because some people have different side effects and different their body's showing different um, reactions. Sometimes your body just don't align up what's going on in your body. Because like I said, you can have it. You can scratch your toe down there, and you can have a fiber growing in your in your your um you know in your uterus. And you're like Violet. That makes sense. Our bodies just don't go with the norm, and that's what a lot of people don't realize. Sometimes people like me. Caffeine, caffeine makes me so sleepy. Me drinking some alcohol, champagne, I am tired. And I'll be like, man, this stuff is wiping me out. And, I, and it's like my body reacts the opposite. I just did not understand it. But I was like, nope, I understand, understand. And some people, it affects differently. Sometimes you could be getting, you could have ringing in your ears for the simple deodorant, powder, whatever perfume could be triggering you. Simple thing, you're like, wow, is was it that? We just don't know because you don't know what's in there. You don't know what the chemical or what toxins is in there. You're like, what? It could be, um, it could be like the food you're eating, and you be like, wait a minute. That's why I'm always saying you what what type of salt? That table salt is the worst thing we could get. Why they still make it? I, I don't know. I don't know. Um, and the only reason why I uh, bring that up because sometimes we don't look at everything in our life. And that's why it's best to look at everything. And I mean everything. And I know people um, wonder if it's dangerous. It's dangerous only when it disrupts your sleep. It's only dangerous when when you are having anxiety, distress, when you're having all these emotions. and Because it's not. You know, it's it, it's not that serious. It all depends on what we actually do and what, you know, if we're going to have, you know, um, hearing loss. Some people got fluid in ears. Some people got like acoustics. You know how sometimes you feel like, and this is rare, I feel like you're just hearing stuff in a tunnel or you hearing stuff kind of like different. Some people don't even realize. That's like being colorblind. You don't realize you're colorblind until someone point stuff out to you. you don't realize you having these problems with your ear because you've been doing it's been doing it so long because people uh, ask silly questions about brain damage and all this other stuff um no it doesn't impact but it could be like the opposite like you know a lot of uh a lot of veterans that have traumatic you know uh, TBI, traumatic brain I- I- injury, experienced tinnitus. We we experienced that because we had a brain injury and they did something and you don't know what part of the brain it, uh, it actually affects. So, you know, people wondering, you know, like I just want to answer every question that um, she just was wondering for help. So I just want to go on all areas. I just want to go on all areas about us losing our ear. And the only thing is you got to really think about how does it affect your quality of health? How it affect your quality of health or sleep, concentration? Do you, you know, you enjoy silence because sometimes untreated, it wreaks havoc. I mean, wreaks havoc in our life and it leads to irritability, insomnia, and, you know, going down depression. And that's the only thing that I was saying that, um, that's the only thing I was saying that, um, you know, what we do, because, you know, some people do commit suicide hearing these things and, you know, plus having PTSD and you having traumatized and you hearing these things. That's what some people need a quiet life. That's what some people, you see them with their dogs and they easily startle. So it, it all depends on what happened to you, because I, when you send messages, I don't know everything in your life i'm not here to ask you whole questions i would love to sit down and have another consultation with you you know you know you can cash at me five dollars i'm gonna leave it that way because i, I like donating i know you're like viola you charging but i'm already giving you all the answers here for free but the only reason why i like doing consultations or follow us because you don't know i don't really know what it is because you could just like i said need a lymphatic cleanse you just probably need a fast and you need to get some poop out. You're like, Viola, is that really it? You just, we just don't know. 
It could be something that I'm not really saying because I'm just talking about everything. I'm trying to throw everything at you because I don't know what really happened for this start, this stuff to happen. You know, some sometimes people have like temporary, intermittent, or continuous ringing. Sometimes it ju- it just may just be for that day. You know, it might be for that day, but that's why I just want to make sure that I you know just speak on that for a little bit because you know. Sometimes we just don't know the, um, you know, the whole, how can I put it, the, the overall um, um, things that's going on in your life. And no, it's not about the money. It's about I want to make sure that we get all the way down to the root cause. You know, we want to get down to the root cause. Cause that's, that's just pretty much what we want to do. You know, because sometimes like the parts of our ear, if we really look at the, the parts of our ear and what we need to do, sometimes it could be a, a slight cold. You can have too much mucus. You can have something that's going on and you just don't see it. You know, you just don't see it. But anyway, family, the best thing is is sound therapy. I'm telling you, sound, sound therapy, because it's so, so, so important that we, you know, do the best we can because, you know, that thing in your ear, man, it's, you know, it, it's something that we should, shouldn't should ignore, but a lot of us ignore it. And sometimes our brain and we in a different light. And sometimes I, I don't like to, you know, bring these parts up, but I just need to speak on everything. Sometimes we do have wax buildup. We can have an inner ear infection or an infection, or we could have, you know, a benign tumor that's in there messing with our nerves. A lot of people don't look at that. Now, a lot of things that we, we don't look at is sometimes the, the non-prescription drugs that we're taking like aspirins or some type of anti, antibiotics or antidepressants or, you know, some of these uh, medications that we take causes it, you know, because of side effects. And we don't really know what we take in that we that, that sometimes you have prescription drugs. So a lot of people have prescription drugs and then they don't look at the the over the counter stuff that interacts and and. and causes a problem you know and then you have to look at you know are you anemic are you anemic you know do you have high blood pressure do you have cardiovascular disease do you have any circulatory problems you know what i'm saying do you have any allergies that's going on you know uh interactive um thyroid you know and i'm always looking at these autoimmune dis- diseases you know you got diabetes did you have any neck or jaw problems all these things you know and some people Sometimes their joints are, are, are a little bit off, you know. So it's a lot of things that we have to look at, especially, you know, like I said before, in, injury, energy, injuries. <laughs> you know, I be talking so fast. My mouth, my, my tongue, my mouth be going, but y'all know me, family. Any injuries with your head and neck. So a lot of this, you know, that we just got to. No alcohol, you know, no cigarettes, no drinking caffeine, even those you know, drinks, you know, those sodas, you know, certain foods that we have to stay away from, you know, we gotta look at fatigue, stress, you know, you have to look at your overall health family. So I just want to make sure that I, I touch bases on that, that, you know, um, I try to give you as much as I can, but start with, please start with removing those things out your, out your life, you know, and do some sound therapy. I don't know if you get, um, migraines you know so those are the things that you have to look at so and that's it draw problems but if you can you can email me back miss p you can email me back and i appreciate it and um i'll definitely get back to you and then um i'll send you a little email or emails um to make sure that uh you know it'll help you you know help you out because sometimes family we will stick a q-tip in our ear and and you'd be like having some of that cotton in there and you're like wait a minute wait is this what i did is this this what i yep a lot of us actually um actually go in and we put q-tips in our ears and then we in here doing all this other stuff and um we got cute we got q-tips in our ears and then you study hearing this stuff and and it's best it's best that you get that out so I just want to make sure I touch bases and, and, and tell you a little bit about that and um, just get you on the right path. So I hope you listening to this. You know, I appreciate you. Appreciate you, you know, trusting in me. And um, 
sending me the email. I, pre I appreciate all you guys. Y'all know when I be on a, a roll, I just be going and don't think I don't appreciate all the wonderful emails, all the wonderful feedback. And I do hear you. Y'all know I always give you your props. I appreciate it. I'm just glad you're, you know, you're, you're, you're actually uh, taking my advice, you know, because it's all about spreading the word, getting the information out, making sure you all feel better. Cause that's the ba main thing, getting better, period. Everything is just getting better. I appreciate you. Um, and, you know, don't be scared to share. You know, I appreciate she She hit me up like two times already, and I appreciate it. And, look, I help family members. I help family members. I always help family members. Yeah, I know I do out of love, and I'm always constantly doing it. And, like, I be in the middle of, I think I spoke to you on a Saturday. I was in, I think I was in Washington, D.C., and I, I spoke to you. And I was like, nope, I still speak to my family. So, look. You family, I care about you guys. Get the information. I may put this on a uh, video and share it to my video family. You know, I love putting the podcast on the video form and then show you different clips that you could be doing. Because when I do switch from podcast to a video, y'all need to watch those slides. Those slides will save your life, family. Those slides will save your life, and I do that on purpose. But all right, family, you guys have a wonderful day. I'm Herbless Viola, sending you positive vibes. This is Very Wise Alternatives Podcast. Until next time, family, peace.